Have you ever realized how state dependent your memory is? How when you're in a bad mood, all you can remember is everything you've ever done wrong and everything that has ever been done wrong against you. Now, on the other side of this, when you're in a great mood, in a great state, when you feel like everything is going your way and you can't be knocked off your path, all of a sudden you remember all the good times, everything that has ever gone in your favor, all the people that have been nice to you and even the times where the universe seemingly conspired to help you get what you wanted. It's almost surreal how different the world looks, how different every experience looks through a different lens. When you are in a bad mood, when you are not having a good time, when you are in a downward spiral, it feels and seems like everything is wrong. And if we can shift that, if we can take you out of that state and create some positive momentum, very quickly you'll start to see things from a different perspective and all of a sudden all of these solutions start to present themselves and the problems really begin to seem less like problems and more like opportunities for you to grow, to improve and really to be creative. And this is exactly why I need you to be able to shift your state, to shift your mood, to change how you feel on demand and on command, not just hopefully you will feel good and then maybe you'll do what you need to do, rather commanding the way that you feel, taking charge of your emotions and summoning what you want to experience so that you can perform well, get the results that you want and also enjoy the damn experience. And I know the first time that I heard about this foreign concept of controlling your emotions and deciding how you want to feel, I actually felt pretty uncomfortable with the idea because I thought, isn't that just supposed to happen by itself? Don't you just go through life and then whatever you feel, that's what you feel. Isn't that what it's all about? So that you're surprised and it's fun and exciting and you never know what's around the corner? Well, that was anyway until I looked at my results at the time. I had so much anxiety. I was depressed. Everything in my life was a mess. I wasn't getting any of the results that I wanted. And so I became a lot more open to changing the way that I was thinking. And with that newfound perspective, I started practicing the art and the skill of really mastering my own emotions. And when I did lower my anxiety levels, when I did increase how excited I was about my life and the goals that I had, when I started to feel really engaged in my day-to-day -day activities, all of a sudden my performance and my results skyrocketed. Now that's just me, but I've also seen the same exact thing happen to over 800 clients that I've worked with, a family, friends who have implemented this, my loved ones, and really I couldn't give you enough emphasis on how much of a difference it makes when you are able to control how you feel a little more even. I'm not talking about every second, every minute of the day, but when it's time for you to really perform or when you need yourself to just shift out of that negative spiral, that negative state so that you can do what you know you need to do that will help you get to where you want to go to, then that's when this really comes in clutch. And although there's a ton of ways, a ton of different techniques that we can use, one of the most basic, fundamental and powerful ones is to make a decision, to decide, this is how I want to feel. This is the emotion that I want to experience right now. It's crazy how unsettling that can feel to someone the first time if they haven't really been in control or been proactive with their emotions. But in order to shift your mood and in order to really feel what you want to feel, we have to decide, we have to have clarity on what we're aiming for. I mean, imagine if I put a blindfold on you and spun you around a million times, gave you a bow and an arrow and said, hey, hit the targets. What are you gonna do, shoot? And maybe you'll hit something, hopefully not somebody, right? So if you're not even sure about what you're aiming for, if you don't know about the state that you wanna shift into, if you don't know what mood you're aiming for, then how are you ever going to expect to hit it? Let's say you have an important meeting coming up or you're gonna perform on stage or you're doing something else that gets you kind of nervous. You can decide that you want to feel excited instead. Those are very close and it's not a big leap from one to the other. 
In fact, the reverse happens accidentally to lots of people. They're excited about some big upcoming event or something that they're gonna do and it's a little bit stressful and all of a sudden they start thinking, well, what if I mess up and what if it doesn't go the way that I want to? And before you know it, you slipped from excited to nervous. But to go the other way, just imagine the opposite. Imagine if things do go your way. Imagine how it will feel and really embody that. Not just this little slight, oh yeah, it would be so great. Okay, now I'm gonna move forward and forget about how it would feel. You have to spend some time. You have to really imagine the perfect outcome, how it would feel, how it it would change your posture, how it would change the way that you carry yourself, how you would talk to people differently, and even just the smile on your face. Not fake it till you make it, but rather preview what the result is going to look like. The best part of the outcome is how you'll feel. And if you can feel that before you get the outcome, the likelihood of you getting what you want goes up drastically. And this really is one of the major secrets to unlocking your inner power and to truly become the best version of yourself. But if you want to ramp it up and make it even a little bit more powerful, what I would recommend is that you take some time to remember memories that you have where you felt the way that you want to feel. Once you've decided on the emotion that you want to experience, the mood that you want to shift into, then you can start to think back to times where you were feeling like that, you were in that state. And all of a sudden, what that does is creates a positive upward spiral where you start to remember all the times where you felt that way. Again, a little bit of emphasis here on taking the time, not just 30 seconds, give it at least a few minutes to really get into it and to remember. Two things that are happening here that are really powerful. One, you are thinking about the future, the outcomes that you want, your ideal reality. This is triggering and bringing in the state that you want. You're then using memories that also trigger the same state. You're stacking these together and you have a clear decision on exactly how you want to feel. So it's easier to reach the destination because the target is clear. Now, if you want to sprinkle a little bit of fairy dust on top, then you can also add in some background music that helps you get into that state. Maybe even a voice recording of you telling yourself how it feels to be in that state. And that really takes it to another level. And if you want a little brain hack to go with this too, record yourself when you are in your most desirable mood or state and take that moment, capture it, at least in a voice memo, but even on video, just film yourself on your phone and tell future you what it was like to be in that mood and tell yourself exactly what it feels like. Because if you can do this and capture it well, then you can just come back to this recording and it will trigger you and bring you back to that moment. Now for perspective, I really want you to take a step back and realize how much of an impact this will make over time when compounded. If you just do it once, unless it's like a really important situation, it won't make that much of a difference or impact in your life. But over time, if you continue to practice it, if you go from your dominant emotions being fear, anxiety, you know, nervousness, any kind of resentment to being positive, uplifted, inspired, excited, full of joy, then of course your day-to-day -day quality of life drastically improves even if we change absolutely nothing else in your life. If everything else stays untouched, just subjectively in your own experience, you will feel so much better. But of course, that's not how it works because if you change how you feel, it will change the way you behave and when you shift your behavioral patterns, your results start to become vastly different and your life very rapidly improves. Hopefully this has been helpful to you, but if you wanna take it even a step further and you wanna work with me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, if you want me to guide you and support you and hold you accountable every week to really help you become your best self, then I invite you to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with me. All you gotta do is hop over to eraphael.com. The link for it is in the description. And over there, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. We'll talk, see if we're a good fit. And if so, then I will show you a game plan for how we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. And of course, if we do so, I will be personally responsible for helping you succeed. 
Again, if you want to take advantage of that, just go to eraphael.com. Link is in the description, like I mentioned. This is especially for you if you have had enough of being stuck in the same pattern, in the same behavioral routines. If you feel like you need a shift and a change, and you know that the people around you maybe aren't supporting you in the capacity or the way that you would want them to, this can make all the difference in the world. I worked with over 800 people at this point. The success rate is incredible, remarkable. I love my clients. You guys are like my family. I know a lot of you are still listening to the podcast, of course, and I appreciate all of your support as always. And whether you are a client or become a client in the future, or if you're just a listener and you'll stay as a listener, I appreciate you so much. And as always, it's my pleasure, delight, and honor to support you on your journey of personal development. Thank you for listening. I'll catch you on the next one.